some of Al Khalifa and Perez again. Kelvin pushing the point and he all oh, got it! And they just about survive that Sam Abe on the grass. He comes back on. Carrieri takes avoiding action. Abe spins. Oh my goodness me. Henry Arundel had nowhere to go. And Abe's moving, and uh, that's a very good sign because Kelvin, he was absolutely hit, slap in the midships and full pelt by poor Henry Arundel. I hope Arundel's OK, and I'm not sure they're the only ones off either. No, there's a couple more. Well, that's Gurrieri's car totally wrecked. Ericsson's is in the background. There's a big impact there by... Uh, and there's some, some damage on Perez's car. I remember, that was the first touch between him and... Uh, Ericsson, he seems to be continuing OK, but there's a lot of debris on the track. I'd be surprised if they managed to clear that by the time they come back round. I don't think they've got any chance. Those two survived, and perplexingly, it was Abe who sort of went off in avoidance, uh, who couldn't quite control it when he came back off the wet grass onto the track that really triggered that whole thing. Anti Mustan and behind Sergio Perez. Perez's car looks like it's handling OK. Some damage on the front wing, I saw. The hole in the front won't really do it any harm. It's only what they call the foot box. It's not an integral part of the car, really. It's only for aerodynamics, but uh, still racing into tower corner. That's Ricardo Tessera, and they're heading back up to where the damage was, and there is the safety car ready. It's not been deployed, but uh, there's a lot of mess here. Well, Kelvin, I'm not sure that the safety car is going to sort this out yeah, entirely, out. but uh, the safety car has been scrambled. That is the remains of Sam Abe's car. That will not be playing any further part, nor will Henry Arundel's. That's really a very heavy impact. I'm glad to see neither driver in the cockpit here. Rather feared that we would see a red flag. Uh, there's going to be a lot of sweeping up of debris here. One of the things about carbon car parts is that they are very strong, but then they disintegrate into needle-fine shards. Let's have a look again. Oh, on board with Giurieri into the S's. Now, see the first impact in front. So now he gets through and then he sees Abe, the danger, all when he's off and it's wet and he knows, doesn't he, that it's going to hurt. Oof. Well, Diana is down in the pits with Giurieri. Esteban, how, what's your version of what happened? Uh, it was a bit big mess, but uh, I believe from what uh, Ericsson told me that uh, he clipped with, with Perez in the, in the S's. Uh, before, well, in the, in the back straight, which is not the place where you where you need to try to overtake. So uh, I don't know if if Perez tried to overtake him and then make him uh, spin. Well, Ericsson spun. Then, uh, well, just the mess, you know, came came up. Uh, Abe to the to the grass. I went to the outside. Then Abe was coming from the grass, so he was going to uh, to collect to, to to catch me. So I had to go to the grass in the outside. When you go in the grass, you lose control. Obviously, it was wet. And uh, I hit the tires quite hard, and then uh, somebody went into Abe. A big, big mess. Yeah, big mess is right. Sergio Perez still in the car. Team putting a new nose on for a restart. But Marcus Ericsson is down in the pits with Diana. Marcus, what happened? And it was uh, me and Perez was side by side, and we touched the uh, wheels. So I spun, and then was just cars everywhere spinning and. I was hit again, so it was a big, big crash. So nowhere to go. No, I was, you know, I was on the outside, but uh, I don't know. But Paris didn't really give me the room I needed to, to stay there. So then we touched. So it's, you know, it's not good because we had a good position, but that's what's, what's happening. Disappointed? Yeah, I am. Let's have another look at that then. It's Perez on the inside, the white car, and you see he gets an oversteer there on cold tyres. Remember, it's lap one. He tagged Ericsson into the spin. Abe on the grass, and it's Abe really that causes the carnage later on. He's out of control, none of his fault, but a big impact by Henry Arundel, and also Abe's car collected Ericsson's for a second time. 